When it comes to making a responsible energy decision for your family and the planet, choose clean natural gas from Atmos Energy. Natural gas is safer and more reliable than other energy solutions and can reduce your home's carbon emissions by up to 45%. By using less total energy than other energy sources, natural gas lowers your impact on the environment. It's just another way that Atmos Energy makes your life better. Atmos Energy, your natural gas company. This is our love, this is our life, this is our home, Louisiana, this is our day. Welcome to week four of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Clarence Bugs along with the coach at the Hilton, at the Marriott Hotel, 5500 Hilton <laughs> Avenue, our home for the 2017 season. Coach, we opened conference play this past weekend, heading over to Houston to take on Texas Southern, a team that had been winless so far this season. And unfortunately, once again, lack of concentration and the big inning did us in. They did us in, and not only that, I felt like the Maytag man. No <laughs> run, no business at third base. Not too many people visit me at third base. But no, we, uh, we really didn't pitch as bad as the scores indicated. The, in the four, for four innings, the games were very competitive, and then we gave up the two big innings, and then it, everything fell apart from there. We have highlights from the city of Houston and our first entree into conference play so we'll roll the highlights and coach will let you do the honors yeah i didn't know they won they hadn't won anything but we i mean if we had just not swung at so many pitches in the dirt curveballs we could have done something with that guy i mean we we really had and we won but we we kept swinging at pitches in the dirt out of the strike zone you know here was a situation where javian you know could have gone to third base and but he didn't and this was a case he having great speed and didn't use it but i was going to send him here no matter what right because we can't score runs so you got to be a riverboat gambler mm -hmm. to an extent you know mm -hmm. and there's harold miles and uh you know he's on the mound standing tall you know and uh you know he made good pitches i'm telling you up until the fourth inning, and then it was 2-1 they were leading, and he gave up a couple of solo shots, and then they got their hits when they needed it with two outs. That's something that hopefully we can look and pick up on and say, down the road, we should be able to do some of that, you know? That unfortunately was a problem that plagued us last year, but we were able at uh, the midway to latter part of the season to work our way out of that. Yeah, we were, you know and probably can do it again this year. Uh, you just have to be patient. Here's Dontrell Harris. Hadn't gotten a hit this year. The player of the year. Not one hit yet to show for it. And uh, as I mentioned to you earlier, when I saw that, I felt pity for the young man because I said, he's not that kind of player. Right. And unfortunate, it's proven me right. I wanted to be wrong. But, you know, here's a great play by the first baseman. Save the run. Is that just human nature when people put those accolades on you before the season starts that you uh, unfortunately put more pressure on yourself to live up to it and never reach your full potential? Well, some people, no matter what, they are not that kind of player, and you do that, and it only enhances the amount of pressure on themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we've had guys in the past, you can put whatever pressure you want. As they look over the fence, trying to find, look for the Don Trail. He rolled over, there's the ball first, and there he walked. 
you know, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah, look, a great play by Malik Blaze here, uh, going in the hole. Yeah, it's just one of them things, Clarence. Everybody aren't cut out to handle that kind of pressure. Right. It's not, it's just not going to work, you know? You know, so if Javion walks again, but they don't show where he, again, the fastest guy on the team, uh, wasn't able to steal a base. I think he got thrown up. See, look at that, that kind of swing. You're not going to be able to hit with two strikes that way, pulling off the ball. That team with two strikes kept making adjustment, hit the ball the other way, and that's why they beat us, to be honest with you. Not that they are that much better than us, but they were committed to the cause. Mm -hmm. It's all about the commitment to the cause. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, the cause is with two strikes, you must make an adjustment. You must to enjoy success. It's a, ne a necessity. From a coaching standpoint, is it easier to get that commitment out of freshmen or is it easier to get it out of your uh, players that are uh, uh, upper class? It's better if you get it from the upper classmen because they're the example setters. You know, people follow leader, the elderly people, the mm -hmm. ones that have been in the, in the fire before. So, uh, you know, freshmen still are in a learning mode. They don't right. know everything that needs to be. Here's a good hit by Malik Blaze here down the line. I mean, all, le all, all weekend we hit three balls to left field on a small park, a pitcher throwing curved ball. I mean, those are the kinds of things you might as well hit it the other way if you can't pull it, and we weren't doing either one. Right. Now here's a hit the other way by Wheatley. You know, uh, if Polk could run, he's doing his best. But you see, what we've got to do is teach big guys, you don't have to be fast, but be a good base runner. Right. And a good base runner might have scored then through anticipation. Now, Darius Harris hit the ball well, but if you hit a ball up in the air, in, with this center fielder, he's going to catch it, and he did exactly that. He caught the ball, into that inning, which was would have been a big inning for us. But those are the kind of things we are not doing well, and mm -hmm. people we do want not want them to panic. Well, we drop game one of the three game series. When we come back, we move ahead to game two and segment two of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Stay close. <laughs> in the frenzy four exciting new games from the louisiana lottery win up to two hundred thousand dollars scratch the back of the five hundred dollar frenzy ticket for a bonus game score big with frenzy today from the louisiana lottery You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Baton Rouge. Striking out is never fun, especially when it comes to your credit. So write this down, DiamondMonster.com. Through their great financing sources, they'll work to get you the lowest interest rate possible. That means lower payment on a better car, like a new Mazda or a great used car. I promise it'll be a car you will love at a price you would like. I've known these people for over 20 years, and they'll treat you like an MVP. On Airline Highway or DiamondMonster.com. Welcome back for segment two of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Coach, game two, we played them nick and tuck through the first four innings, but starting in the fifth, once again, the wheels start to come off. Yeah, you know, and the one thing, I had a really long talk with Damian and Franklin and talked to him about life. And, I, you know, from an emotional standpoint, it gets in his way because he's, and I kept saying, don't try to do someone else's job. Right. See, when people make mistakes, we have a tendency to try to do too much, and mm -hmm. he's guilty of that because 
that's the way he was in high school. But you don't have to do that here. Just do your job. If we could get kids to just understand, we only want you to do your job. Mm -hmm. A great man once said, your job is to do your job. Sound familiar? Yes. Let's go back to Houston, <laughs> Texas for game two highlights. Western Division opponents, Southern University and TSU. Coach? Again, look at this. Pulling off the ball with two strikes rather than trying to go the other way. And, and to the, 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 the coach, pitching coach called 85% curveball in, in this uh, event. Here's the leadoff hitter, and we don't make the play. Routine, and they scored. They really scored. They took advantage of it. And, and that's the way we, you know, we can't have those kind of things happen because this is the kind of team that take advantage of it. See, now he struck this guy out. But they got two outs now. And let's see what happens. Two outs. Oh, come up with the big hit. See that? He left it over the plate. And they didn't play around. They got the hit. So those, this is how you lose game and how you win games. Right. You, know? you know, arrow, get the guy to second. Two outs, get a hit. You know, and then he makes good, makes good pitches here. But they still, look at that play by the freshman, Hampton, uh, Hudson in center field. See, we get a walk. John Polk had a really good weekend. He didn't over tr try to overdo anything. And if we could get two or three more guys looking at him, and look at that, another walk here. The freshman, uh, Watts, uh, you know, just not trying to do too much. The pitcher would have walked them. We would have had a walking machine had we been patient all weekend, you know. And here's a ball up there. You hit it in the air, it's going to get caught out there. It's a small park. The outfielders can really run. All right. So there it is. See, the good play, by pitch by Franklin there. See, you got to remember, that's a really good pitch. And <clears throat> we try to tell him, with two strikes, that's why you want to throw that curveball. Look at that, over the plate. But we made, he got away with it because he had two strikes and the guy was leaning over. Right. But, uh, you know, that was a good pitch there. The now, look at here, the guy <laughs> did a good job hitting it the other way. I mean, that's, that's really pretty, pretty good what they did there. And the first baseman probably could have had, but he's not on the bag. He's trying to tag. So you can't keep giving opportunities. Okay, we picked him off, so it worked out pretty good. We ended up getting him. He was impatient. <clears throat> you know, and one of the things we've had a couple of pitchers do on a couple of occasions, rather than be patient, they hurry to throw the ball. Right. You got to just be patient, Let the, make the run wait. It's proven no longer you hold the ball it's tougher to steal on you, mm -hmm. you know. And those are the kind of things, that's a good hit here uh, by uh, Wheatley. Wheatley had a good weekend also, you know. Or oh, he was more than thinking about three, but nobody was out. So we wanted him to stay at second. Now we got to find a way to get him in. And, you know, he, Wheatley didn't take off as you could see. We had the infield. Uh, you know, that ball, when it goes like that, you got to come home. And we get Bobby hits one that gets by the pitcher. He makes it to first. We still in the end, and we, I think we egged out a run here, even though we didn't get Wheatley in. See, and then there's the freshman watch with a good at bat. And I'm sending him. I'm not messing around. Ooh, what a close play. Did you play the lottery that week, Coach? No. Riverboat gambling. <laughs> Send him on in, Coach. Send him on. I hadn't played the lottery since I've been here, so, <laughs> you know. I'm never going to win it because you got to be in it to win it. That's true. Yeah, good pitch by Franklin right there. When, when you do things to defeat yourself, is it a fair assessment that teams you play are going to try to put as much pressure on you as often as possible to force you into that situation? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I, I was telling them they, they recognized Troy Lewis when he played third base in game one. Right. Didn't have the ability to come in, and they were going to bunt. They were bunting with two outs. I mean, you know, wow. because they felt if we could get the bunt down, he cannot make the play. Right. So that's one of the things. That kind of team can demoralize you if you don't watch it. When we come back, we move ahead to segment three of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cato Show.
Stay with us. have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, Take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Get caught up in the frenzy for exciting new games from the Louisiana Lottery. Win up to $200,000. Scratch the back of the $500 Frenzy ticket for a bonus game. Score big with Frenzy Today from the Louisiana Lottery. Welcome back to segment three of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Coach, mentally, the makeup of this bunch, is it the kind of group that you drop the hammer on them or do you move slower and show them lots of love and try to keep them positive? You got to show them a lot of love and keep them positive. Mm -hmm. It's a shame because in reality, in real world life, it's not going to be that way. And I think we're right. setting kids up for failure mm -hmm. by not telling them. Right. They need to take a shower mm -hmm. when they need to take a shower. It, is baseball one of the more unforgiving sports when it comes to not beating yourself? And if it is, how do you stop them from doing that? Coach? Well, you can't. They're going to have to work their way through it. Mm -hmm. It is the most unforgiving sport. You fail so much. You beat yourself up. And, you know, these kids really hadn't beaten themselves up. I just think that uh, that culture is such that they're not going to do it. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've just got to try and make it work. Uh, keep working them, trying to do little things right. I think that's the way we come out of it. When we come back, we will have a special look from our special correspondent, Aaron Fulbright, when we return for segment four of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cato Show. Stay close. the key that transforms strangers into friends. At Southern Teachers and Parents Federal Credit Union, we believe in lending a helping hand. Transforming your dreams into reality. Because with friends, you can do anything. Come on by and check out our competitive loan rates. We'll see your dreams come to life. Whichever loan, we have you covered. Baton Rouge. Striking out is never fun, especially when it comes to your credit. So write this down, DiamondMonster.com. Through their great financing sources, they'll work to get you the lowest interest rate possible. That means lower payment on a better car, like a new Mazda or a great used car. I promise it'll be a car you will love at a price you would like. I've known these people for over 20 years, and they'll treat you like an MVP. On Airline Highway or DiamondMonster.com.
<laughs> Welcome back to segment four of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Our special correspondent, Erin Fulbright, as she does each and every week, gives us an inside look at yet another Jaguar baseballer. This week, she features Troy Lewis. Erin, take it away. Thanks, Clarence. Earlier this year, Troy Lewis did an interview, and he said he wasn't happy with himself um, last season, but over the break, he said he learned to trust himself. Overcoming challenges and realizing the person we can be Every is something we all go through. Marathon. Going into his second year as a Jaguar, Troy Lewis says last year was a difficult year for him, but he is coming into this year a new man after much reflection. It took a lot of self-reflecting and a, a lot of, you know, just reflection, like looking back at the way I carried myself when, when times were down and I was disappointed in myself and the way I behaved and, and as a teammate and you know I was still focusing on, on thinking about the, my actions and the things that I do and as a senior I know that I set an example and, and last year there were times when I didn't set a good example so I wasn't proud of that. Lewis says he now focuses on his actions and tries to carry himself like a professional. One could say his growth began after Coach Kadar made a position change last year moving Troy to third base, as well as up in the batting lineup. With this, his confidence improved. Uh, honestly, I was a little nervous just because I hadn't played third base in a while, in a few years, but um, kind of just looked at it like, you know, whatever the team needs, whatever coach and the team thinks is best, I'm gonna try to do the best I can. Yeah, my confidence is getting better. I mean, I've, I've made some mistakes here and there, but it's nothing that I haven't learned from to, you know, try to keep those things from happening again. That wasn't the first time Troy had to make adjustments. After transferring from Delgado Community College with great seasons under his belt and championships to a rocky first year at Southern, he learned how to be a better competitor. I had to learn how to be a good competitor when the time isn't, when things aren't going perfect and when things aren't going great, um, you know, knowing that, you know, I have to really focus and really you know, stay on top of my game and do things right. What Otherwise, this team has compared to last year is more of a connection. Coming from a high number of freshmen on the team to now being comfortable with one another. Lewis says they have the potential to do great in SWAC play. They have to use that good basic recipe of being a good team. Consistent, solid baseball, um, and to continue to learn from our mistakes. Um, I think that we, we definitely have the potential to play well. We just had to continue to come together, compete every pitch, stay focused and locked in the game, and just be good teammates. And Having realized his responsibility as a leader or an example for the team and his teammates, Lewis also tries to stay on his schoolwork. He says it's tough being a student athlete, but they have to balance because it's important. Um, it's, it's difficult being a student athlete, but it's part of it. You know, you gotta take class serious. And in order to be eligible, you have to stay on top of your grades. So, you know, it's it's a big deal. I try to take pride in keeping, you know, at least fairly good grades. Take time aside to make sure that we get our work done to be, you know, eligible and graduate. Troy said he also had to learn to be aggressive yet patient at the same time, especially having to move to the three hole in the lineup. Um, and he's not that average um, batter that would be in that position. Back to you, Clarence. Great job, as always. Thank you kindly. When we come back, we will wrap up this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Stay with us. This is our love. This is our life. This is our home. This is our day, come what may, this is our home, this is our home, this is our this is our life, this is our home. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tool, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. 
We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Beep, beep. back for the final segment of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Coach, you had the distinct privilege today uh, to be shadowed by a young man. Michael Avery, a senior baseballer for the Catholic High Bears. Matt Moscona would not forgive me if I didn't say Catholic High. But uh, how did that come about? What was that experience well, like? Well, last week I got a call from his lovely mother and saying that her son wanted to, had to pick all the people in Baton Rouge, wow. that he picked me. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Uh, you know, and the, his lovely daddy brought him by this morning and we've been hanging out and doing a lot of good stuff. So it was a pleasure for me, Michael, also to be able to be with you today. I've never had a shadow before. Outstanding. This weekend, Western Division rival Grambling State comes to Lee Hines Field for a three-game, three-day series. How are you hoping the team will respond, Coach? Uh, better than they did this past weekend, and I hope that they remember uh, they owe Grambling something because of uh, we lost them in the Urban Invitation. So right. we need to be able to uh, play better, come out with some enthusiasm, have some fun and respect the game of baseball. That's basically what we want them to do. Speaking of the game of baseball, is this going to be another throwback uniform weekend? It will be, and uh, it's an important weekend for, for the history of baseball and African-American kids mm -hmm. because of what the Negro Leaguers did. Right. They helped shape in America back in their 30s and 40s, so they helped make America a better place. Does this team need the Jaguar baseball nation now more than ever, Coach? Well, the thing I like to say to the Jaguar nation is that no matter how you look at it, Southern belongs to you. Mm -hmm. It is your community. You should support it in good times and bad times because you certainly have had a lot of good times. Mm -hmm. Why not support it when things are a little tough? Well, uh, you'll be looking at the usual weekend rotation or lineup, or are you looking to shake things up a little bit? Coach? I may throw the ball in the air and let them fall and see what happens. I don't know. We'll throw some ball and see what happens. We uh, would like to take the opportunity to thank our host for the 2017 season, the Marriott Hotel at 5500 Hilton Avenue, which, by the way, is undergoing a fabulous renovation. So if you're looking for a great place to stay in the very near future, please consider the folks here at the Marriott. That's going to do it. On behalf of the coach and the crew, I'm Clarence Bugs. We'll see you next week with another exciting edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Till then, go Jags.